In this video, we're going to look at the commutative property of multiplication. What that means is we're going to see whether it makes a difference using visuals what order we put our two factors in a multiplication problem in. Let's start with 4 times 7. Now, 4 times 7 means that we have four groups with 7 in each group. Let's go ahead and draw that out. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Now down here we have 7 times 4. That means 7 groups with 4 in each group. Let's go ahead and draw that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. As you can see, we arrived at the same answer. That is because of what is called the commutative property of multiplication. It states that it does not matter what order you put the factors in in a multiplication problem. As long as the factors are the same, your product or answer will be the same as well.